Caterpillar began to release its next generation of hydraulic excavators with several models in the 20-ton range in 2017. This new group is heralded by a fresh, from the ground up engineering approach, a lack of letters accompanying the model numbers, and an impressive amount of standard technology. The latest CAT next generation excavator is the high production 207,000 pound 395. It replaces the 390F, which had been marketed since 2013. Construction equipment asked the independent operator instructors of the International Union of Operating Engineers Local 649 to field test the big 395. On a sunny, warm day, both Todd Shreves and Mike High climbed into the cab for trenching, truck loading, and lifting duties. The 395 is heavier and has more horsepower, 543, than its predecessor. These and other changes, and the ability to use larger buckets, add up to 10% more productivity, Kat says. This is a, I like to call it, a bigger, faster, stronger machine from what we previously had. Uh, customers are always wanting more and more and more. They want bigger buckets, they want bigger counterweights, they want more stability, so they can be more productive basically is, is, is what they want. So we've done that. We've added more counterweight, we've got stronger structures and frames, we're adding larger buckets to this machine. The 395 features electric over hydraulic controls instead of pilot controls. CAT has also gone to a dedicated hydrostatic swing circuit for the model. It's designed to allow the excavator to regenerate swing brake energy and independently manage cylinder oil flow. One of the company's goals was to increase performance while trying to retain the feel of pilot controls. Both Shreves and High were keen to test the excavator's feel and response during truck loading. The swing, is, uh, I thought, was, was, was awesome. Uh, first time around, I was unsure of, of the weight of the swing. Um, but once again, the, the finesse of the big machine, I mean, there's a lot of weight in that bucket. What we figure, 30,000 pounds? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, 11,000 pounds for the bucket, plus yeah. the material. And, and swinging around when we did the 180 load, and I mean, it just felt like a, a, a like Mike said, a mid-sized machine, if you will, to me. That's kind of when I got the feeling of it. Not so much when I was digging the trench, yeah. but once I started swinging 180, that's when I, I felt more comfortable, like something that I would sit on every day. Yeah. Instead of just a big machine they bring in to move a mass amount. Mm -hmm. Caterpillar completely redesigned the next generation excavator cab with more visibility, a front facing control panel, keyless push button start, and a large touchscreen monitor with jog dial keys that is the portal to the machine's standard technology. Both operators gave the controls and the all-new operator station high marks. The ergonomics the seat was comfortable, the controls were right there, uh, once again with the uh, electronic hy hydraulics. Felt like you could feel some of the old feel in it, the old valve type. I, I mean, I know it's not there, but there was some feel to it, which surprised me. Uh, the comfort, the visibility on the boom side, the window, it seems like you've got a great open space there as far as being able to see to the right of you where usually it's cumbersome with the boom you usually have almost zero visibility there to the right so they've done a good job with getting visibility to the right of you the window in the front seemed bigger to me um, i think the cab is exceptional a number of technology features are standard on the 395 including the real-time weighing of cat payload cat grade with 2D to give visual guidance to grade, 2D e-fence to establish movement parameters for the boom and swing, and lift assist, which calculates the weight of the load being lifted and compares it to the excavator's rated capability. This particular 395 was also equipped with the optional 360 degree visibility camera package. The local 649 operator instructors were impressed. It's got cameras on there, and you can see the visibility of the cameras are phenomenal. I yeah. mean, you really were phenomenal. Great visibility. Um, user friendly. A guy like me even figured out how to swipe the screen, and I could pull up a camera that I wanted to see. Certainly quick. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like you shut down and said, oh, hold on a second, let me go do this. Right. 
After spending a few hours in the cab, the operator instructors felt the big 395 was indeed capable of big production, but without feeling like a big machine. Okay. I was surprised at how well it did felt. It really was. Versus the bigger machine. The bigger machines I've ran is not handled as well. As They're not responsive. It's you felt that. Too. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's another thing. Just the way the way the whole thing works. Yeah. The stability of it. It felt like to me like a 345 mm -hmm. size machine.